Let's talk about Georgia and Tennessee. Georgia is the toughest team in college football. I think that's easy to to figure out. Easy to figure out. Uh, this team is fantastic. They are so good. Like I, I don't even know how to how to fully explain it. Uh, they have a beautiful, beautiful game plan on defense and on offense. It, the numbers were were bonkers. Uh, let's go on and pull it up on the screen here. Uh, Georgia twenty seven to thirteen over Tennessee, and I mean they only ran fifty nine plays. Uh, they had more total yards than Tennessee, <laughs> considering like considering the fact that they had um, <laughs> they had fifteen less plays and had a hundred more total yards. That is insane. Uh, just everything about this came up roses for Georgia here. Uh, Georgia had double the yards per pass. Uh, they had a much higher PPA per play. Uh, their success rate was higher, standard down success rate higher, uh, passing down success rate higher. They had six sacks on the day. They Towards the end of that ball game, they were absolutely assaulting Hendon Hooker in the pocket. Tennessee's offensive line could not hold up against that defensive line. And what's crazy is this is without Nolan Smith. This is without a bunch of... De- Jalen Carter was hurt, they said. All these different things. And Georgia just, just blasted them back into the Stone Age. This was... Absolutely insane to watch. There's it's uh, there's almost nothing that you can really take away from this. Tennessee's only touchdown came with about four minutes left in the ball game. They were no threat early in this game, and then of course once it got to uh, the rain and everything else. Ten- uh, by the way, the pre-snap penalties for Tennessee. It turns out that going on the road into a really hostile environment is very difficult to run an offense. I thought that with the communication that they had set up under Josh Heupel's offense with as quick as they go, that it wouldn't cause that much of a a problem. I was highly incorrect on this. I had no idea that it was going to be that massive of a a noise factor of a hindrance to what Tennessee wanted to do offensively because, as you've seen, they've been able to do it everywhere else. They went to LSU and blew them out of the water. So, uh, what happened? What happened with this? Uh, just just blown out from the word go. And here, I'm going to uh, pull up these numbers because Stat Broadcast, which, by the way, whoever it is at Stat Broadcast that wants to lock the stats to where only the credentialed media members uh, can view it, come on. Why are we doing this? Like, come on. Hendon Hooker was 23 out of 33, 195 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Stetson Bennett, 17 out of 25, 257, two touchdowns. Kenny McIntosh and Edwards both were really good in this ball game. Um, Lad McConkey had a monster game, 94 yards receiving, five receptions with one touchdown. Kenny McIntosh, two for 57. Uh, I mean, look, they didn't even need Brock Bowers. Like, he was massive as far as blocking and, uh, and distracting, of course. He was a decoy for a lot of different things. This team was fantastic. They had the perfect offensive game plan. They absolutely ruined Tennessee. Uh, James jumps in. Baton Rouge is not Athens. Don't compare it. (laughs) Both of them on a big-time game day can be really, really good. And yes, I understand Athens was hype for this one. I get it. But, and no, the LSU team is not comparable to Georgia. But in this situation... Yeah, LSU at home, especially on a Saturday night against a, a top 10 team. Yeah, LSU was pretty hyped for their matchup too, but it was not the same being an 11 a.m. game. I will tell you that. 11 a.m. Central game, not the same as going to Athens for a 2.30 game. So, in this situation, uh, look, Tillman came back for Tennessee. Uh, seven receptions, 68 yards. Like, he looked pretty good. Hi- Jalen Hyatt looked like he had an ankle issue early in the game. Uh, And these are not excuses for anybody that wants to jump on YouTube and start talking about it. These are not excuses. What I'm saying is Tennessee was really, really good all year at using the run to help set up the pass and vice versa. They could set up the pass or they could set up the run with the pass, right? They could do both of these things and Georgia absolutely stuffed it. Absolutely stuffed it. They have got the toughest trenches in the country. They blast these teams and they did it to Tennessee. Absolutely. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.